Welcome to USMLEFastTrack.com. The section we're going to talk about today is from First Aid for the USMLE Step 1, 2013 edition. Page 347. Hematology and Oncology Physiology. Blood Groups. Name the four different blood groups. The four different blood groups include blood group A, blood group B, blood group AB, and blood group O. What does it mean if you are of blood group A? If you are a person with blood group A, you have A antigen on your red blood cell surface and anti-B antibody in the plasma. What does it mean if you are of blood group B? If you are of blood group B, that means you have B antigen on your red blood cell surface and anti-A antibody in the plasma. What does it mean if you are of blood group AB? If you are of blood group AB, that means you have both A and B antigen on your red blood cell surface but no antibodies in the plasma. Therefore, this makes you a universal recipient. That means you can receive blood from blood group A, blood group B, and blood group O can all give blood to you. So you are considered a universal recipient of RBCs. You also become a universal donor of your plasma because there is no antibodies in your plasma, so your plasma can go to anybody else and it would not cause any sort of reactions. What does it mean if you are of blood group O? If you are of blood group O, that means neither A nor B antigens are on your RBC surface. But you do have antibodies in your plasma for both A and B. Therefore, this makes you the universal donor of your RBCs because there is no antigens on your RBCs and a universal recipient because you have antibodies to both A and B in your plasma. What are all the things that can occur if there is incompatible blood transfusion? In case of incompatible blood transfusion, this can cause immunologic response hemolysis, renal failure, shock, and even death. One additional thing to note here is that anti-A and anti-B antibodies are of IgM, therefore they do not cross the placenta, but the anti-RH antibodies are of the IgG, so they are able to cross the placenta, so anti-RH is something that we need to look into when talking about pregnancies. What does it mean if you are RH positive? If you are RH positive, that means you have an RH antigen on your RCB surface. A situation that can arise in pregnancy is if mother is RH negative and the father happens to be RH positive, then there is a chance the fetus could also be RH positive and the mother can be exposed to the fetus's RH positive blood. And this often happens during delivery. If a situation like this plays out, the mother is now going to start making anti-RH antibody titers. So eventually, the mother will end up having anti-RH antibodies. And if in her next pregnancy, if the fetus happens to be of RH positive, the mother's immune system will start attacking the fetus. And this can cause a hemolytic disease of the fetus known as erythroblastosis fatalis. So how can a situation like this be avoided? A situation like this can be avoided if the mother is given an immunoglobulin known as Rogam or Rho D before the first delivery. Now the idea behind doing this is even if the mother is exposed to the fetus's RH positive blood, the immunoglobulin will neutralize it before the system develops antibodies to it. So then the mother does not develop the anti-RH antibodies and therefore it will not be a problem in subsequent pregnancies. For more information on this topic, click on the link in the description section below. For a full USMLE Step 1 review, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com where we help you review the entire first aid for the USMLE Step 1 with high quality videos and hundreds of detailed pictures for a better understanding of the material. So to learn from the best USMLE review book, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com.